Hi everyone and welcome to my mess. Although on this Sunday there won't be that much of a mess to be displayed and I hope that doesn't disappoint anyone but I did have an absolutely wonderful Sunday and so I thought I would share some of that with you guys. So I started out the day making a bit of breakfast for my kids. They like eggs and bagels and chocolate milk and so I thought I would fix them some of their favorite things this morning. When I fixed their chocolate milk, they really like a lot of Ovaltine in there. I know it looked like I was putting a ton of that stuff in there, and really I do. I put a lot more than what is called for, but they really, really like their milk super chocolatey, so that's the way I fix it. Normally we go to church on Sunday mornings, but my boneheaded self shut my alarm completely off instead of just hitting the snooze. So we slept in way too late to make it on time. I really gotta quit with the snooze already and just get right up. Who invented snooze anyway? It's gonna eventually get me into trouble. And here I'm just whipping up some eggs for my daughter. She likes some extra yellow and extra flavorful, which means I gotta beat them to death in the cup and then shake a bunch of salt and pepper in there. My son prefers bagels. He really loves bacon and eggs too, but some mornings he just wants a nice bagel with cream cheese, and I can't say I blame him. Oh, and here's a quick peek at my dining room table. It's getting messy again, surprise, surprise. But you know what? I see colored pencils and coloring books and art projects, so at the end of the day, it's just fine with me. And then here we are with more piles of laundry. You guys are going to get so sick of watching me do laundry, I swear. But we have a vacation coming up, actually, and I've got to get all my laundry washed before Thursday so that I can pack up on Friday and be ready to leave on time. And something random here for a second. I have to apologize in advance for these weird, awkward voiceovers. I'm really learning and trying not to make them cringy. However, I get so nervous, so I hope you guys bear with me until I can improve, or hopefully improve, instead of sounding like I haven't spoken the English language in the last 15 years. And that being said, right here I am writing out a list of things I have to get done before the trip, and hopefully I didn't forget anything, but we'll see. And do you remember my nice, clean little corner? Well, I have another box there ready to fill up to take to donations. But right now I'm consolidating some of the things that we're planning on taking to the used bookstore to see if we can get any credit for. Speaking of used bookstores, we have a really nice one pretty nearby our house where we like to take books and electronics, games and toys. They take a little bit of everything there so it's really handy because when you have kids you have all kinds of odds and ends that you can take to places like that. And then a lot of the times they will give you more store credit than they would give you cash back. And since we never leave there empty handed, it always comes in handy to have a little bit of store credit to spend so that you feel like, hey, I'm trading in something and getting something new. So it's really wonderful. It was such a beautiful day today. So instead of staying cooped up in the house and being all productive and such doing laundry, my family and I decided that we were gonna take a nice outing just to get away and relax and spend some time together. And so far I've been too busy rambling on to tell you that this is the store I've been talking about. And here's their huge Lego bin that my daughter loves to play in. And after the bookstore, we decided to get some exercise by taking a nice walk at the local park. This particular park is where my husband took me for our first date and we've been going ever since. It's just a great place for us to go to get some exercise and fresh air. And there's also some activities for the kids to do, so win-win all around. And then we stopped off for some yummy dinner, followed by a round of putt-putt. It was a riot. I mean, we all had a blast, but we're way out of practice, so I don't think anyone got a hole in one but my son and my husband. And to round out the night, Hubs and I sat down to watch Poirot. The end of a perfect day, if you ask me. And after my nice, relaxing Sunday, we go right into Monday where I get slammed like you wouldn't believe. I think I mentioned before that we are going on vacation this coming Friday. So that means I have four days to get everything done before we have to be packed and ready to leave the house. I'm sure you've noticed that here is me doing laundry yet again for you guys. 
and that's because I have to have all the laundry finished before we pack up and are ready to leave on Friday. This morning began really well. I had a strong start with my tasks whenever my son came up and told me that his throat was starting to hurt. And normally I don't panic about things like this, but we do have a vacation coming up, so I decided to drop everything and call the pediatrician right away. And it's a good thing I did too, because we did a strep test, and of course, of course, it turned out to be positive. But really, I am so grateful that we caught it early on instead of later in the week. Because now my boy is getting the medicine that he needs, and I know to watch out for symptoms in my daughter and my husband and myself as well. Of course, I asked the pediatrician if he'd be okay to travel, and she assured me that everything would be just fine as long as he took his antibiotics correctly. So I spent the day being available for him and making sure that he was okay and didn't need anything and was resting well. And I decided I wasn't going to fret about the fact that all I got done was a couple of loads of laundry and getting the kitchen cleaned up after dinner. But that's why I'm making these videos like I am. I want you to see my day-to-day -day process and I want you to see that not every day is going to include a grand sweeping amount of progress made. I want to learn to be less messy and I want to learn to take care of myself better. But as they say, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I fully realize that strep throat when caught early is not that big of a deal. But even still, news like that would have normally derailed my day and completely destroyed my motivation to keep moving. And that brings me into Tuesday. So my son has been on antibiotics for 24 hours now and he is well on the mend. We'll be packing amoxicillin to take along with us, but I'll take that over him being sick any day. So we start Tuesday off with a bang, folding some towels. And then I decided to have a bath. Have no fear, the prep work is all I'm gonna show you. Nothing racy on this channel. I definitely don't want to give anybody nightmares. I had to move all my stuff into the kids' bathroom because we only have a shower stall in the master bath. First world problems, right? So with the mandatory laundry and the bath out of the way, now it's time to do some real trip prep. I'm a very visual person, so I prefer to lay out my suitcases in advance and then put things in them as I go. I just find doing it that way a lot less stressful than trying to cram all the packing into one day. And here I'm just cleaning out our beach bag and getting all the towels and goggles and things neatly tucked in there so we won't forget anything. And now I'm finally ready to sit down and make out my packing list. I can't stand that I filmed myself writing at this angle. I love to watch time-lapse writing because it's so satisfying seeing the words just being scribbled across the page so quickly but I completely forgot to position the camera in a way that you could actually see the words going down. I really wanted the car to be cleaned out before we left for obvious reasons, and my husband took that task on, so I didn't get the footage of it be actually being cleaned. So I decided to snag this gorgeous before and after. Didn't he do an amazing job? It's gonna be so nice driving in this car now without all of this chaos and mess surrounding us all. Our car gets really dirty really fast, and since the car is so out of sight, out of mind, once you get out and go in your house, it's really difficult to remember to get out and clean it up every once in a while. That is until you get back in to go somewhere, and then the mess is right in your face again. Okay, so I'm jumping back into this voiceover after a whole week away. So I have to kind of think back as to my thought process and what I was doing before I left. This huge mess you see here is all of my dog Phoenix's belongings, her treats and her leashes and toys and other such items that we keep right on top of her crate for her. My brother and sister-in-law have graciously agreed to keep her for us for most of our trip. However, for the first part of it, they're going to be gone as well, so we had to hire a dog sitter. And obviously, I couldn't keep this giant mess here for them to have to deal with. Flat surfaces in our house like this get so cluttered so quickly, and I really want to work hard to try to prevent that from happening in the future, but right now I have to deal with what is already here. And it felt so great to get the surface cleared off so that I could lay everything out nice and neatly for a sitter when she arrived. And here we go into Wednesday. I had several errands to run before I could start the day's work getting everything ready for our trip. And to be completely honest, I was starting to get really, really overwhelmed at this point. 
Here I go again with the never-ending task of laundry. <laughs> yes, that is Darling Desi in the background, or it was until the ads came on. I just find her videos so soothing whenever I'm feeling anxious or overwhelmed. When it comes to packing for trips, I'm not really one for being on top of things all the time. I am a horrible procrastinator, and sometimes I even wait till the day we're supposed to leave before I even begin packing. And that, of course, comes with its own set of stressors, so I'm really trying to break that habit. My life gets busy and crazy enough without setting myself up for failure by waiting until the last minute to start something like this. I usually do the packing for myself and the kids. And yes, my husband does more than his fair share of the work when it comes to planning for trips. He does all the searching for places to stay and looking for deals, and he usually does all the reservations, and then he turns around and does all the driving. So I think it's more than fair that I handle the packing. As I said before, I was starting to feel a little flustered, so I thought maybe a break would do me some good. So I had a snack and a little head-scratching session with Phoenix. No harm ever came from petting a puppy. And then I took myself a nice brisk walk outside. Next, I took some time to go through all my son's clothes, which I didn't film because he didn't want me to. What you saw there was just me bagging up what he didn't want to take to donations. Anytime that I involve either of my kids or their belongings in my videos, rest assured that I always ask their permission. I want to protect their privacy, so I want to make sure that they feel comfortable with anything that I do. And the rest of this video is, you guessed it, more laundry. So I wanted to take some time to address some things that I was dealing with this week. I had made plans to film myself packing the suitcase on Thursday night, but something unplanned and rather time consuming came up and I wasn't able to do that. So despite how carefully I had planned things out, I still ended up having to pack in a rush. It was so disappointing and so disheartening for me, especially since I really tried this time to not procrastinate and to do my best to make sure that I didn't stress out during this whole process like I usually do. But at the end of the day, the suitcases got packed and we had a great trip. Perfection is not required for success. Thanks for watching.